All right, glory to God. So in this topic, I want to talk about um, uh, predestination. Now, for people who don't know what predestination means, it means that uh, uh, God um, having the ability to uh, basically change the outcome of your future, you know, for the better or for the worse. Now, a lot of believers and Christians have a, a misunderstanding of predestination, and not just not just people who, who are believers in God, but even atheists and agnostic. You know, all these people, they they have a bad understanding of what predestination is. So, I'm going to bring some uh, understanding to uh, this topic and. Uh, but before we begin, there's three main things that you need to understand about predestination when it comes to the Bible. But we're gonna we're gonna go to the verse that people uh, twist and 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 misunderstand, and then we're gonna explain it. Okay, so the verse is in Ephesians one verses five. Ephesians one verses five. It says, uh, "Having predestined us." unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will okay and then there's another verse in Roman 8 where it says uh, uh, he says that on whom he called he knew and whom he foreknew he justified and you know uh, justified he glorified now people think that God is changing your outcome and and all these things so we're gonna we're going to talk about the first part is divine assistance, okay? Now, what is divine assistance? Now, in, in uh, Psalms 37, verses 23, it explains it. So we're going to go to Psalms 37, verses 23. Psalms 37, verses 23. It says... The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. Okay, so this is the steps of a good man. What does that mean? That means that when you do good actions in your life, that means that, you know, God is helping you, God is supporting you, and he's assisting you in uh, the things that you want to undergo in this life. So, for example, if you are helping homeless people, God is going to assist you, okay? If if you're in danger, uh, God is going to assist you in whatever position you're in if you're a good man, okay? Uh, so that's, that's, a good, that's, a good, that's a great thing, divine assistance, that God, uh, He assists us when we do what is right, okay? Uh, so uh, I didn't put divine intervention because that is a little different, but... Divine assistance is what people should understand about um, uh, predestination and how God uh, deals with that. Okay, the second ver the second uh, thing that we need to know is that God desires the best possible outcome for all people. Okay, He wants the best outcome for you, uh, and if He doesn't, is may might be because of sin or might be because of your love for doing what is wrong and evil, okay? So, a scripture to back this up is in Jeremiah uh, 29, verses 11. Okay. Jeremiah 29, verses 11. It says... Okay, so this is what God says. It says... For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Okay, so even before in the Old Testament, God always had the the always wanted the best possible outcome for his creation. Okay, he wants he always wanted to give you peace and an expected end. He didn't he never wanted people to perish. Perishing and and you know dying in your sin is. It's either because, uh, you know, your rejection of God or just the ignorance that you, you, you don't know about the things of God, okay? And, and living a lifestyle of sin. That's why people perish. But God always wanted, intended peace for, uh, 
his creation and and uh, for people to live in harmony and live good okay so that's the there's divine assistance there's uh, God uh, join uh, helping you uh, when you are doing what is right and pleasing to him he's gonna assist you in your life and protect you from danger and there's the best possible outcome God wants the best outcome for you and uh, you know the only way he wouldn't is is, is if you uh, prefer and choose evil over good because remember God is a God who loves good he loves good things he loves uh, when people are trying to help one another and not trying to tear each other down and, and destroy each other okay and then there's the last one which is the foreknowledge foreknowledge now I want you to understand that God knows everything okay he knows the end from the beginning in Revelation, he's called the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So what foreknowledge means is that God knows everything that's going to happen before it happens. Now, people use this and say that, well, since God knows the end from the beginning, how come he didn't know that this was going to happen? How come he didn't stop this from happening? Okay, and God can do whatever he wants. He can choose to intervene if he wants to, or he can choose to... let us. Uh, 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 pull himself back and see how a situation will uh, go about and you know and then he can also use that to, to say well, uh, on judgment day why didn't you choose to make the better decision okay God can do whatever he wants but uh, what people I want people to understand is there's two there's three scriptures that I want you to understand when it comes to God knowing the the past present and future events the first one is in Amos 5, verses 14. Amos 5, this Old Testament. Amos 5, verses 14. And some people actually believe that God uh, helps you to do evil. He, God, uh, God will make you do evil so that He can send you to hell. That's not how God is. Okay, God is a loving God. It, it says, and uh, it even says, I think, in James that no John that God is a God of love okay God is love so God wouldn't change your outcome so that he can send you to hell as a matter of fact uh, in the gospel it says that God didn't even create hell for human beings it was created for uh, evil angels and and anything that promotes evil okay so uh, Amos 5 verses 14 it says Seek good and not evil, that you may live, and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you, as ye have spoken. Okay, so God will be with you when you seek good. I know that I mentioned that a lot, which is kind of similar to divine assistance, but I just want to uh, bring clarity to that, okay? Now, the second uh, verse is in James 1, verses 4. James 1 verses 4 okay okay so so this is James 1 verses 4 it says but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire okay God wants you to God wants you know patience to to dwell among us you know he wants us to learn to be patient you know because God's timing is good he God everything that God wants for humanity is good okay if if things turn out bad it's not because God intended it for it to be bad for us but it's because of our our willingness to do evil to do sin and to reject God okay now the last scripture I want to go to is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 verses 13 1 Corinthians 10 verses 13 now, this is speaking about, you know, when we're tempted and, you know, how how we should respond to that temptation, you know, because remember, when you're tempted, most of the time when people are tempted, it's to do, 
you know something that's bad okay so we're gonna see what what uh, how we should respond to this it says there has no temptation taken you but such as common to man but look what it says it says but God is faithful and just who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able but will with the temptation also make a way of escape for you that you may be able to endure it wow isn't isn't God merciful isn't that loving of God that he doesn't allow us to to be tempted beyond what we're able so sometimes when we're in a situation where we feel like we we can't we can't not do this thing we can't stop drinking alcohol we can't stop uh, uh, taking drugs or smoking or or watching uh, things that we shouldn't be watching profane things you see God helps us in that he assists he assists us in overcoming the things that are difficult for us and helping us to do what is good okay okay so that that's really what divine assistance for the best possible outcome and for knowledge is is that god doesn't change our outcomes he assists us in our outcomes when we're doing good okay and and unfortunately sometimes if we're doing bad and we choose the 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 dark side or to do evil sometimes god will let us stay on that path and in hopes that we will see that it doesn't profit us in the end and that we'll come back to good. Okay, so God has many ways of dealing with situations. Remember that God has been here longer than uh, any human being, any person in the, in the universe because He created all things. Remember, uh, in the beginning was the Word. God created all things. Okay, so God knows how to respond best to his creation he knows how to help each individual person because each person is different so I, I hope that this helps you understand the topic of predestination no God doesn't want you uh, doesn't make you do evil okay God helps you to do good God wants the best for you and God even though he knows everything sometimes he'll let the situation play out uh, so that he can bring something better out of a bad situation because we see that too that god knows how to uh turn a bad situation good again okay so i hope this helped you understand predestination uh god wants the best for you for his creation and i hope that uh you know you seek god and uh and that so that god can uh divinely assist you when you uh make the decision to do the right thing. So may God bless you.